when it comes to the health response in the pandemic, of course, there's been nothing but negative headlines coming out of Europe recently uh, in terms of the slowness of procuring vaccines, of rolling them out, this debacle around the uh, suspension of AstraZeneca, while the United Kingdom, uh, despite having botched Brexit, uh, one of the countries that's rolling out vaccines faster than anywhere else in the world. Talk a little bit about how we should think about those things. It is exactly the consequence of a lack of Europe of health. You have to know that uh, uh, on social policies and on health policies, uh, Europe was without any common policy uh, for the treaties. You don't have the possibility to have social common policies or health common policies. And so uh, in March uh, 20, when we started facing the pandemic, I think the reaction of the people was, uh, why don't we have a European response? But the European Union was without any competence in that field. And even what you mentioned very correctly, and the fact that the UK is more performance than the European Union on vaccine, for instance, it is exactly the demonstration of the fact that we don't have at the European uh, level these competences. I think Brexit helped us, I have to say very clearly, because the, uh, the UK was the country putting vetoes to more integrated European responses and to have them uh, not on board today is uh, allowing us, all of us, uh, to, to go further and to have more integrated European policies in terms of health. We can build up today uh, Europe of health. It was impossible uh, years ago because the UK uh, vetoed these kind of uh, solutions and it is clear that for citizens today having Europe of health and having uh, communitarian policies for health uh, is a plus, it is not a minus. But I repeat, these mistakes are not there because of Europe, are there because of the lack of Europe. Just to be clear, the perception that the EU was dragging its feet, the regulations were challenging, um, that they were pushing too hard to get uh, reduced prices. You're saying that this is really because the EU didn't yet have any processes or competencies around this, not because we shouldn't be blaming von der Leyen uh, for, these, for these challenges at this point. I, I think she did a very good job uh, last year on the recovery plan and because of the treaties are giving the European Union the competence on these topics. That is not the case on health, on vaccine, on other issues where the European countries decided to have an intergovernmental cooperation on these topics, but maybe it is not enough. So I don't want to say that everything uh, would be perfect in another treaty situation. I would like to say that uh, we have to know that we don't have at the European level enough competences on that. And this is a big problem and that, that is creating part of the issues that you mentioned.